With the COVID-19 outbreak seemingly changing on a daily basis, as RRS sees a spike in cases, some school systems are now rethinking their original plans for when the school year starts. One of them, the Bullock County School System, and as our Dave Williams reports, they're looking for some feedback from the community. Before you know it, it will once again be time for students in Bullock County to go back to school. Just a week or so ago, it looked as though students would return to the in-person, face-to-face learning environment. But COVID-19 has other ideas, and because Bullock County has now been designated by the Department of Public Health as a substantial spread COVID-19 area, when classes do resume, it will be online. It's not a, nothing's a state mandate or requirement, but it's guidance that when a community is under the substantial spread category that schools are to be closed. So based upon that information, we have started developing plans for, you know, what it would look like to start school under a virtual learning option. It's possible that the change back to online learning will delay the original August 3rd start of school by a couple of weeks to potentially August 17th. And due to the ever-changing environment, Superintendent Wilson is holding two live stream sessions July 2nd and July 6th, addressing concerns of the community. Our intent with these questions that are being submitted is to try and get an understanding. What's the pattern of information that's coming in here? And to be able to kind of organize and structure these sessions around uh, providing information around those major topics. When Bullock County is reclassified again, hopefully to a lower spread level, the school district does intend to allow those students who choose to do so to return to the traditional in-person school setting. In Bullock County, Dave Williams, WJCL 22 News.